In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a drawing task with Event ID. Let us imagine an experiment where you ask a participant to copy another drawing. Your goal is to record explicit behavioral information on how participants perform this task. We start with creating a new blank experiment. For sake of simplicity, the experiment is made just on one screen with the black background. Uh, next, I load our stimulus materials, a collection of animal pictures which I have prepared in advance. We use the render element to display the animal pictures on the screen. Note that we can select which picture will be presented to a participant. You can learn more about designing experiments and event ID after watching other video tutorials. Here I am making an experiment for a demo purpose, so it will be a very simple and quick process. To allow participants to draw, I add another functional element called InCanvas and place it on the screen just below the picture. That will be an area where a participant can draw, do drawing. Now let us look at the settings of the InCanvas elements in the property panel. There are many options that we can choose, for example the pen size, the pen color, the shape of the pen, and we can also change the canvas background and other attributes. The in-canvas elements support different types of inputs. Drawing can be done with the mouse, touch screen, or most importantly, with any pen tablet connected by USB. When a pen tablet is used, we can select separate modes for normal and inverted pen orientation. Our pen will draw in the normal position and erase in the inverted. In addition, the ink canvas will take into account the amount of applied pen pressure. Let us test the ink canvas right in the designer. Double click on the drawing area, toggles and editing mode. I draw strokes with the pen tablet and you can see that uh, the chosen settings of the ink canvas elements are applied. After I finish, I can reset and erase the drawing. Now let us run an experiment and do a real task. I run an experiment in the window mode and start drawing. The circular marker shows a pen position over a tablet. When I touch the tablet with a pen, a new stroke starts. I prefer here to do a painting with a series of separate strokes. When I press harder, the strokes become thicker. And when I press lighter, it becomes thinner. Now I revert the pen and touch the tablet to erase.
When the drawing is completed, I stop the experiment. Let us see what data has been reported. First, we see that the ink canvas remembered the drawing. We can save it by exporting into an image file, such as BMP. Alternatively, we can store the drawing in a special ink format, which encodes the drawing as a collection of strokes. The ink files can be read in some uh, graphic editors, uh, but uh, also can be loaded back into Event ID for previewing. Note that uh, data export can also be done at runtime. It is not necessary to stop experiment when a participant has to draw several pictures. Instead, you can save a drawing after it is completed, then reset the ink canvas and start with a new drawing. The best option to record more complete behavioral information is to export the made drawing into a data file of CSV format. When you open such file in Excel, you can see that each line contains information about a single stroke on the drawing. The information includes the stroke start time, duration, various drawing attributes, and the overall stroke length. Since each stroke is made of a sequence of points, you can also access the point statistics. The tripled values encode screen coordinates and amount of pen pressure for each point. We have uh, data for all drawing strokes. The goal of this demonstration was to show that Event ID is a powerful and flexible tool for designing drawing experiments. The design process was very easy and I hope that I could show it to you.